All right, today here we have, uh, this is something a little different. It is a Sperry rail service car, and I just got this a little while ago, and I want to put a decoder in this. So, let's get this thing out of the box, and the decoder I'm going to use is a uh, Digitrax. SDXH166. So we'll have uh, sound and everything in it. So let's get this out of the box. Uh, here's some uh, separately applied detail parts. Actually, it's just a very few detail parts, and we'll save that for last. A few more details. have here this is a uh, Walther's kit so what do we have like a fairly well put together model and this one's unique it has a, a belt drive system in it and after we get this apart uh, I'll show it to you and I have never had one of these apart so we'll have to take a pretty close look at it to see what we've got to do it looks like we've got some screws up here on this side for the front of it and I don't see anything here in the rear so let's uh, let's see if we can get this model apart and get our install moving forward Maybe just the uh, what holds the cow catcher on. I don't know. Yep. Looks like we can spread that apart. Let's see. I'm trying to look down inside of it. To see what I can find or see if I can see any clips or Feels like there's a clip right there, but for the life of me, I cannot hit it at all.
in. Let's look and see if there's anything in. See if there's anything else in the box. That tells you how to pull this apart. Body removal. That's what we want. Okay. Body must be removed to enable you to lubricate the motor. Insert a flat knife between the floor and frame and body side and bend the knife outwards, moving the knife the length of the body. This will release the body from the tabs on the window glass. So they're starting on the rear truck here. There it is. Now, let's see if I can get this side. see the clips on that side. Okay, well, I thought I had all of that side. <laughs> so it's going to be like that. I'll get half of it, and then the other half slides back in. Closer. There we go. All right. That took longer than it should have. But it is a part. And we should have wires going to that light. have to well I'm gonna have to separate that but there at least you can see the wire inside and that Fairly hefty there. 
they've just got it hot glued. To that motor. They're hot glued to the top of the roof there. You see that blob of hot glue. So, oh, I see it's got a, there's a weight up here in the roof. And I've moved some of the windows down, so I'll have to get that fixed but uh, I think for right now I am going to have to hmm. what am I going to do here I'll, maybe I'll just unsolder uns those leads off of that well they'll have to come off of it anyway because they won't go to the decoder so actually I'll just go in here and I'm going to leave that as long as I can I'll snip that there. I'll snip that there. Okay. There you can see how they have the light. And these are not LED bulbs. Just incandescent bulbs. And I may... I don't know if I'll upgrade that and put LEDs in it or not. That'll be for a little later on to decide. So now we're back to this. Um, and you can see that belt drive. That's kind of a unique little system there. So it picks up power. Can't see any pickups here on the rear. Just wondering how that Oh, I can see I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. If you look back here, this little, you see the tip of my screwdriver, that, you can see that little discoloration, that is a copper bar that runs across, and I can't tell, okay, yeah, it runs to both front and rear, and then, Okay, same on this side. You really can't see it on this this side here. But there is a copper bar, <coughs> excuse me, there's a copper bar that runs the length of this side also. <coughs> and that's the pickups. So this only picks up on the front set of trucks. So, wait a minute. No, I'm wrong. It picks up both, both front and rear. Okay. You can see. Well, maybe you can see right near the end of the screwdriver. That's two wires. There's two conductors there, and they go back here to this rear rear truck so it does get its pickup from both sets okay that makes sense now this decoder since there are so 
so many windows on this. Um, be nice if I could leave that all open. But I don't think I'm going to be able to. windows back in where they're supposed to be they just clip in um, it'd be great if I could put this decoder up in the roof somewhere but the speaker is the thing let's set that down so I may end up with my speaker somewhere in the middle. <laughs> there is plenty of room in this for a decoder though. Um, <laughs> can't put it there like that. Actually that doesn't fit there. So that may be where my speaker goes. And then see any way I put that if I put that there I could plug into it or I could put it back here and plug into it But it looks like it's going to be a mess on the wires. So now we're back to maybe I can take some styrene, maybe make a platform above the windows and hide everything up top if that would be I'm trying to look here I think that would be visible have to think about this for a minute and then we'll go from go from there all right <clears throat> I think I've come up with a plan for this and uh, I think this will work out fairly well uh, let me get me something to point with here what I plan on doing and I did make a little modification to the top of this. I cut out one of these uh, little cross braces. So, get that back out of there. That will give me room. I'll be able to lay the speaker in there and that will be below the level of the windows you won't be able to see that through the window opening and then I can take I'm going to turn the decoder upside down and I'll lay it right here across this brace and that will make it to where you can't see that either. So everything will be mounted to the top. And I think that will make for a pretty 
decent installation. And after I get everything installed, what I, I may end up taking a piece of uh, maybe some O20 uh, styrene and I'll just cover the inside over top of everything. That way you won't be able to see anything at all. So let's uh, get started with some of this stuff. I'm going to eliminate some of these wires because basically this is just going to have uh, sound and it'll have a headlight and of course the motor control but uh, I don't plan on having any other functions in it so what I normally do is I'll go through these wires and I will cut them off and then I'll seal them with liquid black tape but that way I don't have to fool with trying to hide a bunch of wires uh, let's see this side over here will be our power our pickups and I'll be able to eliminate a couple of these I'll probably be able to eliminate the green I believe that's a function I'll be able to eliminate the purple that's a function yeah, let's see, green is for F1, the violet is F2, or function 2, gray is, that is the negative side of the motor, black is the left, uh, left pickup the engineer's side, or the fireman's side, I mean. Yellow is the rear light, and I'll be able to eliminate this because we're only going to have a front light. And then white is, that is our forward light, or front light. Blue is the common, so I'll need those for the, for the light. Orange is the positive side of the motor, and red is the engineer's pickup side. So let's cut some of these off. That'll eliminate those, get them out of the way. Don't need that one. The green one, I need that one. I need the orange. I need the blue, I need the white, I do not need the yellow, so I'll cut that off, get in there as close as I can, I need the gray, I need the black, and I will not be using Violet. Like I say, I'll go back in with some liquid black tape and cut those off. Okay, now on the other side of the plug, this is a function, the brown is a function, and I won't be using it. So we'll go ahead and cut that. Get that out of the way. This red, uh, that isn't used. So I'll go through and I'll cut it off. And then we've got our red and our black for our speaker that's already hooked up. The yellow on this side is another function and these could be used for lighting functions or anything of that sort but like I say I'm not gonna use that so I'll go ahead and cut that off this green that 
untangled. The green isn't used for anything. So get that out of the way. And then we've got our blue and our black on on this capacitor. Okay, so now I've got a another violet. It isn't used for anything. So I can get rid of that. And then finally, I've got this white wire. It's actually for uh, if you're using it with a steam locomotive for your cam input. But this isn't steam. So we'll get rid of that. All right, so now we've cut that down and we've consolidated some things. That'll make that a whole lot neater. And I'll end up, I'll put some liquid black tape on that capacitor. Make sure everything is plugged in good and tight. And I'll also go back and I'll be trimming some of these wires up. But now, let's go ahead. I want to get, get my roll of double-sided tape. And have my knife and I'll cut a couple pieces of this. That way we can get our be able to get the decoder mounted, mount that speaker in there, and that is almost cut through. Oh, there's time for me to change that blade out. I haven't changed that for a while. Let me put that We'll get that in there. Bring this over here. And I'll mount this speaker. So that'll work right there, just like I had planned. Now I'll take the decoder, get some more double-sided tape. Let me see something there. double-sided tape right there on the cross member. Oops. Get that in there. Trying to keep that all centered. Okay. Took some of that unused wire. in 
here. I don't know if you can see what I'm drawing or not. I'm tucking that under. Now really, and I tried, but I'm, I don't want to try real hard because I don't want to break this. If you look in here, there are clips. These are clips. All of those are clips. And what they do is they hold the top on. It's a separate piece. And if you can see this, there are screws that hold the weight in. This is a weight. So I could in I could take and if I could get these clips out without breaking them, which I don't want to take out because I don't want to break them, I'd be able to tuck all these wires up underneath this and use this as a little chase. But I think I will be able to... I, th I think I'll be all right here with this. Um, so now let me go on, and I will put a resistor on this just so I don't blow that bulb. Um, I'll probably use a, a 470 ohm resistor on that. Because it doesn't have LEDs in it right now. But anyway, let's go. Well, why don't I just take and get that hooked up? And that'll save me that wire. So, get my turn the soldering iron on. Get that stripped. Just a touch more wire on that. That'll be all right. Okay. There's that. And I'll need my blue and my white. Get these. I don't like that jumbled mess so that'll be that one and then okay so those are all separated from everything Four seventies, I mean. Yep. So we'll use that four hundred and seventy ohm resistor. It's just a pair of tweezers with a stand on it. So now I'll cut off some wire. I want to cut this off as short as I can, but I want to be able to uh, still be able to strip it. 
and that'll give me that'll give me plenty. See, it's kind of tough to. Kind of tough to get in there, but it'll make a it will make a neater job in the end. So just kind of bear with me here. Okay, now I can go through and I'll flux everything. And I'm going to turn this toward myself so that I can flux this. all of them at one time. Get some of that extra flux off of there. Get that picked up before it sets up. Okay, now got my solder here soldering iron keep that tip clean all right I'm gonna tin all these tin these up pieces of shrink wrap. Get that down on there. Now I need to need to put some flux on this. up
And you know it, the one that I didn't put the heat shrink on is the first one I solder up. Okay. There's that side. Now I need a couple more pieces of heat shrink. flip this over to where I can work on it here again. So there's that side. Now I just need to solder the other wire. And then I'll go back and put the... Because that's got a piece of heat shrink on it. And I did, because uh, these decoders are, I can change the sound file in them. There is a company that has a sound file for a, a gas engine for these. And it's actually, because I, if I read everything right, these were made from the doodle bug platform and used, I believe it was a four cylinder gasoline motor. Get all that heat sealed up. Uh, but it was a four cylinder gasoline motor, I think. And there is a company that had the sound file for the Doodlebug. I believe it's CM, CMR Products. They have it on their website. They sell a lot of uh, HO bodies and some other things like that. And I was just looking at their website and just happened to luck into finding that sound file. So I've, I've got the sound file downloaded and it's free off of their site. So I've got that downloaded. And after we get this installed, of course, once I fire it up, it'll 
it'll be a <laughs> it'll start out as a GP38 get some of these wires tucked in Okay, so now so far, if we look at that from the side, of course you can see my wires for the uh, capacitor and the wires that I've got for the motor. But other than that, I can't see the wiring. So now, I'll go through... And I'll start the process of turn this around where it's for facing the which way the motor is there. Or the same way the motor is. And I am going to run these. Let me cut off that little bit. to clean that up but I'm going to take and feed these wires underneath these supports get that wrapped up just a little bit down there's one three of them my gray wire go okay um, I don't know if you can see that but I've got all them tucked in under this brace and this brace pull those a little tighter okay so this yeah I'll get that tucked in where I want it here after a bit Okay. Okay, I've pulled the interior of this out, and this is all a weight. So now I just need to hook up my my power and everything. And I believe I am running out of time on my camera. Uh, actually, I'm filming up with my phone. But let me go ahead and I'll make these connections off camera because you don't need to see me trimming wire, solder and fluxing wire. Uh, but let, let's kind of go through this first. Okay. We've got our our pickups this is a pickup wire this is the 
engineer side. Here's the pickup for the um, fireman side. So this will be fairly straightforward. And there's really nothing here to isolate. Because this, this is a <laughs> plastic frame. So I'll just I'm just basically going to cut right into that right there. Put my wire on it, and that will be that. So let me let me go ahead and do that, and then I'll I'll bring you back. Okay, we're back, and I have this soldered in. Let me go through what I did here. We've got our uh, engineer's pickup, the engineer side to pick up. So that's going back to the front and rear. Then we've got our gray on our negative side of our motor. I don't know if you can... Let me see. Okay, so we've got our negative side there. And then our orange on our positive side. And here's our fireman side pickup. Okay, so now we're ready to start our start the reassembly process. Let me get this weight back in here. And this is a stiffener for the frame, too. Because, like I say, that frame is all plastic. And that's the wrong, one of the wrong screws. Well, it shouldn't be. There's one, and then we'll set this on the, uh, yeah, I just don't have that down. We'll set this on our little test track. That on there, okay, there it snapped up in. And I may end up, I don't know, I don't think I will, I may have to cut this down a little bit to uh, allow for the speaker. But I think for now, I'm just going to move this off to the side here. I'm going to pull up, get my test track out. And then... Some roller stands. Get our NCE system plugged in. <coughs> and then we'll be ready to test this out and see what we have. I may have to turn that soldering gun off. I have to set my body on set that body on something.
Okay, so there's that. Um, pull this over here. I think. I'll have enough, yeah, I'll have enough wire there. Get that up on our stands. I think it's up on our stands. Okay, so let's, let me slide this down a little bit, that way you'll be able to see the motor run, or you'll see it fry, one of the two. So let's uh, select uh, our loco, and that should be set at number three. Okay, so we have sound. And I do have a light, but I mean it's just barely visible. So let's see what we have. For some reason that stopped. I don't know if I've... Okay, it was just kind of bound up there a little bit. So we do have, it works. I will end up, I'll, I'll change the program. But, uh... The other thing is, I may have to take that resistor off of that light. And I do have it running in forward, but I'm going in reverse. So I'll have to change my orange and uh, gray leads out there. Not sure what of why it's got that thump to it. I have to go through and look at that, make sure nothing's hitting or anything. So I don't think this is going to be a real slow mover. That's set at speed step four. Of course, that motor. That motor's really not made for DCC, I don't think. I mean, it works. But it seems to be a lot of slippage with that belt. So. But I'll go ahead and I'll I'll move move those two wires around. Get them on the right side. And then I'll see if the body will fit on it. But other than that, it seems to be working. I'm glad I didn't put a bigger resistor on that. So let me go ahead and uh, yeah, I'll make these little changes. I'm gonna turn this off because I'm still I think I'm right on the edge with my memory on my phone here. All right, we've got some changes to make. 
Let me go ahead and do that. I'll turn you off. Okay. I'm back. I've got the, uh, the motor wired up the right way. Let me slide this down this way so you can see it. Now, I don't have this body on here permanently. Uh, and I was right. I am going to have to modify this section. Well, now that I've moved it, you can see the whole thing. Let's see what I'm telling you. Okay. I need to modify these two pieces right here uh, for the speaker. So I'll have to take this, I'll take my weight out again. Put this over here. Set this. Set that down, but I'll have to take this weight off and then I can modify this. I'll just take a grinder and grind that out. So I'll get that done and then I'll bring you back and show you what I've done. Okay, now we're back here. I've modified this frame a little bit. I ended up over here so you can see. I took a little bit out of the top right there. That way it'll fit down over top of the speaker. Uh, what I'll do now, I'll clean that up a little bit and then I'll put some, uh, I'll just put a few dabs of black paint on it because I don't have any of the silver. Um, Actually, let me, I've got some silver Sharpies here. That would at least dull the, and that really doesn't, that really doesn't do anything for it. Of course, like I say, you're not going to see that. So, let me get out the black Sharpie, put some black on it, well that didn't work, that didn't do a thing. Alright, so I will have to get some black and put on there. Alright, let me do that, and... I'll turn you off again, and then we'll go from there. Okay, we're back. I've got the frame modified, and I also, I had to, well, I didn't have to, but I wanted to. I did put in LEDs in it, or one LED, because the headlight was just, uh, you, you couldn't even see it. But what I used... I make these up. Uh, it's just a, a small. Well, let me let me get the whole thing out here, and I'll show you. It's a uh, SM twelve hundred LED, and that's okay. And you can buy these. I buy them fifty at a time. They're only like three or four dollars, but I make them up. And I put a uh, 470 ohm resistor on them. And this one is yellow and blue. This one would have been for a rear light. Uh, but I had one that was blue and white that was made up for a front light. So I put it in here. Now I'll take and uh, to hold it, to hold it in. And there was a holder here. Uh, Let's see what do I want to get here. Those both had rosin on them, or flux. Let me get some of my liquid black tape, and we'll fill this little hole in right here. That way it won't bleed any light through it. But I have a video coming out and you'll probably you'll see it before you see this video 
on how I make up these LEDs. So kind of watch for that, and I'll put a link in the description for it. All and while I'm there, I still need to put some of this black tape. Let me put some on the ends of that capacitor. That way it won't short out on anything. And then I also take and put it on the ends of all of the wires I cut on the decoder. That way I don't have to worry about anything shorting out there. So we've got all that taped up. I've got the body here with the modifications I made to it. I ended up I painted painted that and that's dry now. So I'll take and turn this around and put that back put that back on. We'll go ahead and put our screws back in. That'll stiffen the body up. And I think this is going to be a fairly, well, I, I, it's a real neat installation, I think. So, we'll get those wires tucked in and tucked under. And it will be fairly invisible. It's not going to be completely invisible. But it is mostly. Unless you're really up into it looking and I know some people they do but get all this wiring tucked in there there we go there's that one White one tucked in. And I may get a little, you may be able to see a little bit of that when it's all said and done. But I've got the LEDs in it. Now let's turn this over. We'll get the rest of this tucked in. Make sure everything is where we want it. I think I got it to where it will go past the decoder. Maybe I didn't. But I may have to do a little bit more frame modification. I think I'm going to have to. I didn't catch that before. Well, anyway, let's set this on the track. And I'll show you the uh, the LED part of it because I think they they came out really well. Uh, let's see if I can get this turned around here. I 
that'll kind of work. So there's our headlight. You can hear that all. Okay. Let me turn this back around. I am going to have to... I wish I'd have caught that before. It does run fairly smooth. But... Okay. I'll stop you there again. Okay, we're back. I modified some more of the uh, some more of the frame, painted it, and I've got everything tucked up in. And now we're gonna go ahead and hopefully this time there will be no other modifications needed. But I want to get this tucked back in here where it looks halfway decent. You'll see some, some of the wires. Not a lot. Push this forward a little bit. Okay, looks like we've got it all tucked in. So let's set it here on the track again. move there a little bit so it does move that belt slips on that but I mean for what it is I think it will be fine so, all right, let me, uh, I'll set you up in the front here. That way you can see a side view of it. So let me turn you off. Okay, we're running out of battery here real quick. So I'll show you this. Get it going forward. There's our new uh, LED headlights. We'll get it moving forward there. And that belt does slip on that. But it does work. Let me get you around here. Pardon the camera because I'm going to I'm going to move this like this. So all in all, I don't think this is a real, this isn't a real good model, but it was something interesting to put a decoder in, and I think the way that I have done it, let me, I've got this on a little stand, I'm trying to get you even here, to where you can look at the side. And there is very little showing. I can see from this view, I can see one, one wire. But 
other than that, I think it came out really well. So I'll download the sound in it and then I'll get you a picture of it with sound. So that uh, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. All right, I've got you set up a little different angle here. And I've got the sound file loaded into it. We'll fire this up. Now this is a, a gas motor, so you can tell the difference between the, the original one and the decoder. So let's get it moving. It is moving forward. It's a little, little bumpy. Then we'll hit our horn here. I'll probably have to go through and set some of these values. But it does. Maybe it start to ramp up. I'm hoping that that noise is just from the new gears. So maybe after it <clears throat> runs for a while, it'll mesh in, run a little smoother. So. But it does work, and it was an interesting project, but I just wanted to uh, put that out there, something different. Alright, we'll call this one done. Thanks for watching. Okay, we're back on the uh, Sperry Rail Service car, and... You'll, you'll notice uh, when I put this uh, on the test track after I had the uh, decoder installed that it was jerking and I thought maybe it was the belt slipping. Well, I was wrong. This, is, this has the same problem that a lot of the old Proto 2000s have. You can see that crack right there. And you can see that that axle will just pull right apart. So both of these drive gears in this are cracked. There you can see that now. So I let me open this up. I found drive gears and I hope they're right. Because I ordered them from Northwest Short Lines. This is item number 2412 6, 13 tooth gear. And you can see the specs on it right there. But it says it fits the Wal Walther's Doodle Bug. Well, these. Sperry rail cars are based on the doodle bug. So I bought two gears and I hope that they fit. They're thir both 13, 13 gear. All the dimensions are the same. So we're just going to hope for the best and I'll order them or not order them. I'll put them in and then we'll go from there. So, um, now I have done a video on how to change out the gears in the Proto 2000s. And actually some of the Blue Box Atherns had the same problem. So I've got a video of that and I, I don't know, this, this video 
for this rail car and decoder install may come before the uh, wheel fix. So I'm, I don't think I'm going to show the process of putting these wheels together. Uh, it just takes too long. Well, it doesn't take too long. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll skip that. Anyway, but you can see right there, I've already pulled one side off. And there I pulled that end off. It was fine. It was easy, I mean. Let's see, maybe. Pick up one of these gears. And I don't think I'm going to be able... I'm not going to be able to push it on with my fingers. So, I'll have to get out my arbor press and push them down on there with. But uh, when I get that done, I'll, I'll be back and we'll finish with the install. Okay, I've got the... Uh, the wheels back together and uh, I put the first one in there before I realized I forgot to turn the camera back on so you can see that I've got the front set in uh, and I also dug out my programming track there also set it up those are the contacts so let's get this rear set of trucks in now if you or yeah set of wheels if you listen you'll hear it click into place okay and I've already lubed those up too and then this the cover for it yep. let's try this in first okay uh, it's always something Okay, let me pull that off of there, now that. There we go. Snapped in. I don't know what, I see something there that looks odd to me. Not sure what that is. I don't know if you can see that or not. Nope, you can't see it. I just pulled that off of that front truck or front wheel. don't know what that is from or where it is from so anyway maybe I'll find that here after a bit um, set this we'll get our test track set up I believe I've got this set to three, so let's see. If we have any. I must have a short. 
or I have a bad connection somewhere. this set up here to where you can maybe see it a little better and Okay, let's see. We've got it back up on the track here. And let's see what we have. Okay. Well, we've still got a little vibration in that. I am moving forward. Okay, as I speed it up. It's kind of <clears throat> even and out. It's a little noisy. Headlight works. <clears throat> but uh, now, mind you, this is the wrong sound file for this uh, application so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get out my because it, since it's a Digitrax decoder I'll get my PR3 out hook it up to the computer and then uh, we'll download the correct file into it so let me get that all set up and I'll download the file and then I'll bring you back <clears throat> 